Hello, viewers, and welcome to another special edition of a program called Salon Together in issues with Miss Sila Kem Takabo. As Chadi is supported by Osiwa, they do different sensitization of the election conflict and mediation engagement. Salon Together in issue may get the opportunity for witness as the Canada, the eastern part of the country, Kenema, to be precise. So stay with me as we will show you how the process metallic and also go do follow up interviews. Good morning and welcome to this interview. Go please introduce yourself to viewers. Yeah, I mean, uh, Alahaji Mohamed Mansari, Kenema District Youth Council Chairman. As you are a Youth Council Chairman and we see you the part of the election conflict prevention and mediation engagement today with the happen presently in Kenema. I want to tell viewers them what you don't learn inside this engagement. Uh, well, this uh, what I don't learn inside this engagement is very much important, more especially for us, because we are young people, them, uh, I can always see the future belong to a way where people are young person. This now waiting will prevent we as young people them, for law not the part of violence because we see and see violence, the care we come to go behind and the care we say go behind because we are young people there. A violence in our community, in our society, we're not going to get to two one forget one. We're not going to get education, we're not going to get the opportunity for let private sector can invest in our community, in our district where young people that will benefit. So I see and see this training is viable for we for as young people there. It's very much important. And I make a happy way me be the district chairman and they give me invitation for my part of this kind of engagement here. So you don't get this engagement and you don't tell us you're happy for be part of. So what you go take home to you compare youth they would look up to? Because I get the large followers there, eh? we get a bigger constituents at the district because we get 16 children on the district and of course the children all we get structures and they we get the CYC when the children youth council executive and is there any children sections and they they the session also get to call the SYC when a session a youth council executive turn a village youth leaders eh? that means it will structure cut across and this what I don't can learn I go ensure say an uh, impact on the uh, 16 children youth leaders eh? For let us have go impact on the session of youth council executive. In return, the session the user opportunity to for impact on the town and village youth leaders eh? because structure as I say powerful. And in fact, we don't attest that in the fight of COVID. And this one back now, team we will be able to pick it and the children eh? because my engagement with the children youth leaders eh? in return, they, they engage the session of youth leaders eh? for ensure say, the information spread across the 16 children in the district. As election uh, something we can normally do before in the process and after. So as a youth leader. Now we did before the election and we get for going to the process and also we get for get life after election. So what do people for expect from you as you could continue for give you followers them good word for make sure so we all enjoy the peace and stability in Sierra Leone? As he rightly mentions, we get before election, during election and after election. And we engage men not go just the, during this election, even after the election. Because after the election, we for maintain and continue with the peace. Now we go make, we go able to enjoy the development we want for see. I want for let we all know say for us, if peace not there in our country, in our district, the development would expect to know the getter. So we go continue for engage young people there because we are the workforce of the country. I can always say young people there, we are the resources of this country. Like when money mago sit down and both say, he get money in a bank. So we go both of young people there. So on that drive day, we go continue for engage your colleague young people there for let us see the importance of peace so that the development will come our country and we as young people stand for benefit past any other people there. And Kenema and, uh, and plenty of people can say belong to the SLPP, the Salon People's Party. And we know say other different political parties than there. So how you can mediate for make sure say the youth they will belong to different political parties they're able to come together and think Salon first. And of course Kenema and the Eastern Region. Kenema and the Eastern Region and I want to tell you say the young people in this district, it manifests August 10. Different political party you then deny we get APC, they get they, they get heavy vote naya, SPP they get heavy vote naya, and the two main partners they will get vote naya. But they will find out say even August 10 inspiration will happen at this country, this district will be the part of Dandy. Why we get different political party young people there? Now because of constant engagement with young people, therefore let us see the important because any motama will say they live now your home, even if not today you're born. And because all they live now and they see and see any development we can now all go and join, now be make young people they will continue for engagement. That's a series in Sydney for the part of that kind of thing there because the care with this tree go behind. Thank you very much. Right, you are welcome, brother. Once again, me and the chairman Kenema District Youth Council, Alaji Mohamed Mansari. Thank you. Me name now Francis Baiget Johnson, the human rights officer and human rights commission Eastern Region. As a human rights officer, how you feel for the part of this election mediation engagement? Well, I feel so blessed and I'm glad for this particular uh, move of the election move to, because we say we don't take as a preparation beforehand every activity of the ECSL. I concern to we right from the registration process, verification, and about to exhibit whatever. We're also part of it, and um, we're doing the strategic plan for ensure we get this election being done in the best human rights practice. 
So how the commission get for puts what you don't can learn into practice today? Well, as I say, the commission already gets a strategic plan. And that is from the beginning, we get five pillars of um, plan we don't put in place. That we want to start with the public education, which we already don't start. And also the monitoring process, capacity building, and ensure that um, we, at the end of all this process, we also get for produce a report. So we are involved in actually for promote and protect the rights of everyone. So generally, plenty of Sierra Leoneans don't know it in a human rights. So who's what we go left to them for they themselves? No, they themselves get their own fundamental rights for participate in an election. Well, inside in normal time, we say rights, every right go to responsibility. Every mother man we born at this world get a right. Um, but the Human Rights Commission puts the right into generations. You get the first generation, second and third. The number one of them generation are called the civil and political rights. We are the rights to make you vote and make them vote you in. So actually, you have freedom for exercise your right. But one thing for us to know, there's a key word we call responsibility. Not just in a right over everything, but not say yourself get something for play. And the election process also. Your responsibility count even when you write also the in place. Okay. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much. You remain blessed. All right. Um, Mina Joseph Senesinuma, the student union president of Eastern Technical University, Sierra Leone. Um, you see the parts of the election conflict where Chadi and Osiwa they try to make sure see, young people and every Sierra Leone out there get the understanding say in elections will not be violent. So you said me the part of the dialogue. What you learn at? Yeah, of course, um, I don't learn a lot because um, as youths or young people of this country, uh, most specifically students, we, we consider ourselves to be uh, people we don't attain some level of um, understanding and some level of education. So, you know, we don't learn with responsibilities and which are the rules that we will play for make we ensure so we don't prevent conflicts in the upcoming 2023 elections. You know, and because knowing our responsibilities and the rule for play, and for prevent this conflict, also can able for prevent other problems that will go happen after the elections and after we don't indulge into the conflict. And you know, a old president in the university. So what kind of relationship you get with the company students? Therefore, make sure see when you go go out there for talk to them, they go get the mandate for listen to. Well, my relationship with the students of the college is cordial, and of course, I can boastfully say. Whatever I tell them, they can do them, and whatever I say, Lord will go so, they, they go so. Because of recent, they can meet me, they can want to take some action, and say, hey, I say, no, gentle guys. I say, this action is not necessary now. You know, even of recent, there are a lot of other things where they erupt at the campus, and I mean, be able to set through the situations as far as students is concerned. If not, like, within, in, in, in tete a tete with the administration, but as a responsible student, you know, president, you know, you know, fine for be confrontational. It's, it's, it's fine for be um, um, you know, ensure dialogue, constructive dialogue and engagement that you can solve problems, not to way they confront authority. And I'm sure, say, like, even in national elections, it's better we get a roundtable discussions for able to amend issues where they erupt than we go into confrontation with the government. Concerning the way to do learn today, who sort of way you go left out there to be as you watch here, and also you fellow students, them, who sort of advice we go left to them as the election they are around the corner? Well, um, I can want for encourage me, fellow students, and um, follow we maintain the peaceful conduct where we don't maintain throughout the country. You know, for the past 20 years now, or 30 years, we country don't be peaceful and we don't get a cost court card from international partners and say Sierra Leone is the most peaceful country in, you know, in the sub Saharan Africa. Of recently, August 10 began for make that particular um, um, accolade began, began for reduce. So I still want for encourage colleagues, Sierra Leoneans, students, more specifically. For long, we maintain peace so that um, we will attain that level we don't attain as far as peace is concerned. And the coming election, that will be very, very peaceful. Election not to do or die game. You know, you get for accept defeat. Your party you probably not go win or you go win. But if your party lose, accept the fate, say your party don't lose, and think seriously, not think but political party. Plenty, thank you for talking to me. I'm mean, uh, Abdul M. Fatoma, the team lead for election conflict prevention and mediation working group. As we don't do witness when I don't do this now, forget on when I don't do our market woman with disabled and also when I decide for come with them to in the east part of the country when I can I want to tell viewers that they watch you within the importance of this. The importance of this we want for engage Sierra Leoneans across the country 
about the importance of election conflict prevention and mediation process before, during, and after elections. And you don't deal with we, we don't do with market women, persons with disability, political parties, and EMBs. And now we don't come, and uh, Kenema, we try to get meeting with various stakeholders and the student union, you know, the university, uh, the traditional leaders, religious leaders, CS, civil society, uh, the media organizations, and also women's group then, and child rights organizations. Then. For let we all come together and find a possible way how best we can be able to prevent conflict and mitigate conflict ahead of the June 2023 elections. And we all know that Sierra Leone is a country where plenty of people can let take the law into their hand. And this kind of venture where you start, so for make sure say we get a peaceful election. And for do that kind of thing, involve money. So who do I would that support you for that you achieve this goal? Um, we get support from the Osiwa. The Osiwa and then don't support ritual. Then the members' organizations as well, they contribute towards the process. So continuity in another aspect we plenty of people think about. This get for continue. Um, we get the intention for continuing throughout the election process. Then immediately after the elections, Osiwa continue for support we you know, for let we continue for engage the people of Sri Lanka for ensure say we prevent um, conflict and we pre we mitigate violence, you know, political and election violence. So before we leave you, what thing don't be the outcome of the market woman, the disabled, the political parties? What don't be the outcome of it? We don't get positive outcomes so far because there are reasonable concerns that we they raise um, in terms of um, how best they will be able to be inclusive. Um, some of them key recommendations and the ECSL and the Sierra Leone Police and ONS currently they work on them. How best they will provide security for them, and how best, you know, like the deaf then say they want sign language interpreters, market women they say, you know, they want more inclusion and protection, and let them tell political parties and say, you know, uh, let them behave themselves. You don't see PPRs, they don't begin a work. So after the meetings there, we can always engage the EMBs, the security sectors, uh, about the concern of the people, because the election way we they organize in this country, not for the people of Sierra Leone. So their voice very matter, you know, in decision-making process. Plenty, thank you for talking to You're welcome, sir. Viewers, as Salon Tsigenin issues me witness Osai Chadi supported by Osiwa, me come about to make sure say they sensitize people as the election there around the corner. Hope you have don't listen to the one who don't interview, which they tell we, and also Mr. Fatoma, which they tell we, as they say, they don't they get positive feedback from different people and different stakeholders, then where they don't talk to, where they don't make sure say they put themselves together for now. Come 2023 June, Sanu will get a peaceful election. My name is Nasila Kem Takabo, and don't forget for always stay to Salon Training Issues for the very best of recent happenings that we country, Mama Salon.